guys and welcome to my reaction to the uh, first episode of season three of Broad Church. This is the final season and I have absolutely no freaking idea what the heck they're gonna <laughs> cover in this season. I feel like I feel like if they needed to season two is would like the way that they ended it was like a good ending for the show. Now I, that doesn't mean that I don't want more and that I don't think season three will be great as well. I'm just saying like, it seems like they wrapped up the stories that they were telling. So they're probably gonna have to start a whole new something. Uh, maybe some sort of crime will happen <laughs> pretty early on or something. I have no idea. I'm, I'm very, very uh, interested in what could be going on for season three. Um, I kind of hope that they just focus on some of the characters that they haven't focused on as much, maybe. I don't know, that, that's my hopes for it. But yeah, let's get into it. Should have known the first shot of the season would be waves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my heart is already racing. This stuff gets to me, guys. Oh, God. Okay. Well, alrighty. We're just getting into this season. I'm going to be with you all the time you're here to make sure you understand everything that's happening. If you're feeling unsafe or uncomfortable in any way, we will stop. Everyone will be led by you. Come on through. Hey. I'm going to take a mouth swab, and the reason we do this first is basically so you can have a cup of tea. Uh. Have you got any more questions before we do that? Do you believe me? Yes. You did this to me. was racing so much for that whole sequence, guys. Whew. All right. Where is Ugh, already a suspect. Do you by yourself, Trish? What about Leah's dad? We're, we're separated six months. So live nearby? We only just details. Make a cup of tea, eh, sir? Sure. <laughs> they are such a good team. I like them so much together. I, I shouldn't really do this, but... Uh, I'm gonna give you my number, okay? Anytime if you want to talk, you need anything, day or night, you can meet me, all right? Thanks. Don't tell him I gave you that. Thank you. Oh, Ellie has a you heart of gold. How are you feeling? Hello? Ellie. Trish? Yeah. Are you okay, Trish? Yeah, yeah, I was, um, I was just checking this number works. But you've got the panic alarm, don't be afraid to use it. And you can call me anytime. What? Ah, already, already. How am I going to tell my daughter? Look, try not to think of that for now. Your personal number. Yes, I what did. have I told you? She needed it. Every time, Miller. Pardon me for being here. We need human. support services support. Support services aren't there yet. Can't keep doing this. Once before. Twice before. Oh, are you keeping count? Yes. Can't be ringing you all the time. She's been raped. Oh, you can tell him, Ellie. It's my Ellie belly. She, oh, she's just got the strongest heart. What's that? It's a goodie bar. Keep them handy for Fred. Well, who's open in there? I don't care. Do you want No. Where do you get that? Is the whole episode just these two? Because I'd be really excited about that. Look. Possible dried blood on that stone there. And here. 
Item S corner of the condom wrapper. All with the sound of running water nearby. I think this is where it could have happened. Yeah. It looks like you might have a crime scene. Oh, okay. Other characters. <laughs> right, let's talk about you. Five clients so far. Are you finding things? Good, I think. Sort of. It varies. Um, Karen, my last one, that was tricky. I don't think I handled that brilliantly. Karen's a vulnerable one. She has had an incredibly hard life. Yeah, I feel bad for letting it get to me because I knew it would be difficult, but... It's just sometimes that... I don't know if this is for me. Of course, listen, everyone who's worked has been where you are now. This job isn't easy. We're meeting women in crisis. Some have mental oh, health issues. Oh, okay, okay. It's challenging. Hi, this is Trish and Leah. Leave us a message. Message for Trish. This is Beth Latimer. I've been given your number. I think you might be expecting my call. I was hoping to come and see you either today or tomorrow. So if you want to give me a call back, my number here is... 960131. Ah. Oh. Well, I love that Beth is doing something like I wasn't sure at, it, at first if it was <gasps> um what I was gonna say about the Beth thing was just I didn't know if it was gonna be something like women in crisis or like a fostering thing oh, sorry Paul traces possible use of the condom it starts to look like it was premeditated. I think you did your best thing then, you leave us to sort the conclusions out. I think you should say sorry to Brian. Woo! Sorry, Brian. And you wonder why we call him Shitface. <laughs> Let us know what you find. What a nickname. Can I ask you a question, Of course. Why have they been calling me Shitface? Since you first arrived? Hey, Burnett, this is my shot. What's it concerning? Ed. Sounds hot. Can you make it quick? No. Can we talk about it? Yeah. One of your um, staff members. How many people were at the party? Um, I don't know. I, I, we didn't keep tabs on final numbers in there, and we were just telling people to pitch up if they fancied it. Roughly? 70, 80. How many men? Um, 50-ish. There were 50 men at your party on Saturday night. Yeah, at least 50. Great. Just start with one. Let's move on. <laughs> it's gonna be a long season. He's so sorry, aren't you? So sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I mean, where did you even get this? Oh, I didn't mean to press. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry. Porn? Why? It is something oh. we're having to deal with a lot more recently. Right, so it's not just him. Tom and another boy have been caught supplying links and files to a number of other students. What? No! Oh, for God's sake! I know. Yeah. Make sure you can we should all stick together, right? Don't walk on the line just after that. You can call me if it gets late. I'll come and get you left, won't I? Dad, what's going on? Just be careful, OK? Oh, I'm just worried and it's cute. Well, that's freaking me out. You're welcome. Feel <laughs> that? If a woman around there has been attacked, I don't want either of you walking anywhere alone after dark. We don't need you looking after us. Well, oh, he's just trying to be... What? Oh. Dad, don't go. Mark, come on. Bye, little Lisbeth. Look after your mum and sister, will you? See you Thursday after the French exam? Yeah, cinema. Mark, I didn't Bye. mean to... It's bad enough he only comes around anymore. Don't have to say things like that. Oh, they're not together anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, stop it! This actor <laughs> has a power over me. It makes me cry! I don't know if he's actually shady or if, like, the music is just trying to make me think that he's shady, you know? Incident, my last was no 
Cottage in history. It was planned and premeditated. Trisha's attack aunt went to that party intending to commit rape, which means we have a sexual predator who is a danger to the public. Wonderful. In all honesty, this season's going to be rough. Um, I have a bit of a, um, thing with, with certain, um, sexual crimes and it, it's just, it's, um, tough for me to watch certain things and I'll leave it at that. Um, not anything but I mean not anything from personal experience or anything it's just something that triggers me and I feel kind of faint so for the first I think like half of this reaction I was slightly lightheaded and just trying to st not faint but um because it's it's one of those things that like even if I just like think about it do they don't really even have to show anything you know but if they do show anything from the attack, I might I might have some issues with that too. I don't, I don't know. So anyway, um, so this might be a rough season for me. Oh my! <laughs> Can't wait. Um, but you guys will support me through it, hopefully. Um, okay, so obviously it was interesting to see that Beth and Mark weren't together anymore. Um, it's not terribly too surprising. I think it might have been something to the effect of like, they kind of both grieved and I know that they were drifting apart before and he cheated and that whole thing about talking about writing the letter in court without bringing it to her first, you know, like stuff like that. Um, but I definitely think that also had to do with the fact that I feel like they, they grieved they're in very different ways and they had different ways of going about it and and maybe it was a little hard to keep it all together after that i i don't actually know but it was interesting to see that he wrote a book though so i found that sorry uh really really interesting um as far as the case goes so far i don't really there's not a ton that um I am uh, skeptical on. I feel like that couple is not really. Um, I don't know. At first, when they found like the condom wrapper, the little the little condom wrapper and stuff, I was just like, okay, well, that could just be somebody randomly having sex near a party or something like that. I thought maybe it wouldn't have been connected because the first thought that came into my mind is like, do. I mean, I guess maybe they do for, you know, I really haven't tried to get into the mind of a rapist and I'm quite content with that. But I was kind of like, do rapists really wrap it up? Maybe they do to not get any forensic evidence. Can't believe this is what I'm talking to myself about right now. Okay, anyway. Uh, but I thought um, it, it could be something that you think is related to the rape, but it's not or something. But then I, I feel like, and they said that she was raped um, and, and the guy had a condom on, so, so maybe it <laughs> probably is. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like they're trying to make that couple seem very shady, but I don't know if they actually are shady. You know what I mean? Um, I'm excited to see more of the town see how everybody's doing i seem like this kind of focus mostly on ellie um miller and hardy uh which i'm okay with because i love them and i think that they're so so sweet and um the best team uh and uh yeah i'm very very interested to see uh where this is gonna go though I'm, i feel like i'm gonna be nervous when i watch broad church this season i don't know i think maybe i'll feel better after i feel like the initial i mean um kudos to the actress who plays uh trish because she was getting me i was feeling it i was like oh god i'm gonna 
my heart was racing and it was a lot. It was, it really was a lot. So, um, hopefully, I don't know. It's, it's not that bad for me for the rest of the season. Um, but it is interesting that it just opened right away with a crime and, and we're right back into it. It's interesting that Hardy's, um, daughter is, is there as well. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm very, the whole thing with Tom, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't agree with the fact just because he's a 15 year old who watches porn that he would have any sort of like that that means that he's turning into his father. Um, cause I feel like sometimes 15 year olds watch porn, you know what I mean? Anyway, but, uh, yeah, so I, <laughs> that's my thought on that. Now that we have my thoughts on the condoms and the porn. <laughs> Whew, what an episode. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.